I'm going to die! Hopefully I won't. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> Better than anything you can get without a prescription. Did I ever tell you about the one time that I made spaghetti for my great aunt? No. It went. Uh, it was the most best spaghetti she ever tried. That she named started naming spaghetti after me. She did. Yeah, the Nathani. Nathani. <laughs> yep. It was my special prized recipe. It was amazing. What happened? Ah, uh, I got sued for copyright. <laughs> for what? <laughs> spaghetti. <laughs> who has who owns the copyright on spaghetti? Oh. I need to know. <laughs> the, the Italians. <laughs> the whole of Italia. Yep. Oh, well, I'm Josh, Eddie. I'm Nathan. Eddie. <laughs> Nathan Regretti. <laughs> Nathan Regretti. Regretti. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're watching Guns Go and Cannoli on our K. Last time, there was a ton of improv. Where'd that grenade come from? He's lobbing grenades like it's 1915. Oh. And now we are still chasing Frankie. Still chasing the balloon. Not that balloon. The big zeppelin in the sky. Oh. That's oh. where all mafia go to die. The big zeppelin in the sky. Oh, that's quite a place to go. That's not where they go to die, sorry. That's where they go when they die. Huh. I just went to the big farting on the ground. <laughs> the big fart on the ground. Yeah, instead of the big one in the sky. I don't think I'd want to go there. No. It sounds like Spirit in the Sky, but I don't know that song. But good enough. I'm going out to the Spirit in the Sky. Yeah, I'm gonna be there when I die. There's a fart down there on the ground, but I'm gonna be up there when I finally come around. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Something like that, right? Oh, yeah. I don't know that song that well. Oh no, you're dead. I'm I dead. might die. And go to Spartan's sky. <laughs> All right, I've been wondering, Lou. You're dead. <laughs> Wonderful. You have to ask my dead body. Look out for <clears throat> grenades. I always do. So I've been wondering, how would you get in with the family? Well, I was married into mine. Oh. I meant the mine. family. Oh, the family, not a family. I'm gonna dead. Oh, oh. You'll have to ask me again when I'm living. How many times I gotta ask you how you get into the family? Boom. Oh, uh, well, is, uh, ah, who? <laughs> that much of a touchy <clears throat> subject? No, no, of course not. It's, yeah, I'm actually not part of the family. What? I'm a detective undercover. I knew the Boninos and the Bonucci's were gonna get ummed up, but I didn't know by who. And now we uncovered that it's Frankie. I'm part of the cops. Wait. So... I might have to off you after this. No! How could we work together if you're the cops and I'm part of the Mafia? Because you grease my palms, and I could very well be the Mafia. Oh, so you're in it just for the money. Just like you. You're not part of the Mafia, you were just doing a job for Bellucci, Bonucci, B Bellucci. I guess that's kind of- Oh! True. You're not part of the fam. You just know that when the fam come talking, you don't go walking. <laughs> yep. Or you'll be dead. Because they got the money. Well, they also got the means to kill you. Nope, they don't. You don't think so? No, this is my second. No, take that fourth family I'm wiping out right now. Fourth? Yeah. Is the first one your own? Yeah, uh, I don't like talking about that one. What's the second one? Messy business. The second one, that's what thats what really started to put me on the map. So when you killed Mussolini? Ah, uh, then kind of. Even though that's in the next game, supposedly? <laughs> I don't know anymore. Now, the second one was going after the Alfredos. Oh! The Alfredos? Yes. Nasty family that, the Alfredos. I'm wondering if you told me about them. I'm oh, afraid or not. <laughs> Did you ever go against the Ragus? The Ragus. Nasty family, those Ragus. Little bit. Little bit. Only tangled with them a bit. Tangled? Yeah. Ooh. They had this girl. Mmm, she was fine. Like a long linguine. <laughs> Oh, how about the Fettuccinis? They were a big crime scene back in Sicily. Oh, yes. 
I never really messed with the Fettuccinis. I was busy messing with them. I figured they were a little bit out of my league. Holy crap. Yeah, I didn't kill them. I was just messing with them. I would prank call them. <laughs> that's, that's all I'd do. That sounds dangerous. Nah, it was all in good fun. But then I prank called them one too many times. And eh. There was like a civil war because they thought it was one of their guys. And that's how they I inadvertently killed them all. They all died. Whoa. Just like that. That that takes some skills. That's when I got hired with the FBCIA. <laughs> I'm going to die. Hopefully I won't. Don't. <laughs> that guy just like knocked your legs out from under you. He and by that I mean he tapped your foot. He wasn't even looking at me. We're going up there to the spirit in the sky. Mm. I'm going to wonder why. Because you're dead. Oh. No, I refuse to believe, Steve. Does Steve don't tell it to you? Life tell it to you. You're dead. Steve don't tell me? Nope. What a jerk. I expected more of Steve. Did you? I did. I guess that was my mistake, but I really did. Ah. Oh, that hurt. They're like boomers. It's on his resume that he don't do Jack. Really? Yeah. It's like Steve, the I don't do jack, but still hire me guy. Yeah, exactly. And you think you you're you think he's there waiting for you with the Uber drive, and you come out with the cash. Steve's gone. <laughs> you come out with the cash. Yeah. What are you? <laughs> I'm picking up some cash at the bank, you know. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh, I, I just thought that you were like, you know, when you pull out the cash to pay him, and I'm like, I thought the whole thing with Uber is that <laughs> it's all through the app. It's scary. Uber owns your credit card information, your PayPal, your everything. Uh, you know? It does. That's why I don't oob. I've never once oobed. Oobed. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I've never oobed by myself. Every time I oobed, it was somebody else was paying. You know what I mean? <laughs> well, I guess. I've never oobed. Never? Is ever. that really a thing? That's not a thing. <laughs> what? Oobed? <laughs> it can be. Let's make it a thing. When sure is. If you a... uber, you have oobed. oobed. <laughs> Man, sometimes I oob all over the place. <laughs> you don't got a car, you get oobed. I, I, I guess mean, you so. go oob. You go, you go oob. <laughs> you go oob yourself. You oob. Uh, sounds like an insult. Mm. You got oob? What are you, an oob? Don't die. What an oob. I gotta stop using that shotgun. The shotgun sucks. <sighs> but sometimes it's all you got. He's shooting us through that. Die, 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 die. Die, 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 die. That was pretty good. I, uh, I, I oobed to an opera once. You did? It was good. Was it? Yeah. It was called Shun. Shun? Or Sean. Sean. An opera about, yeah, the life of Sean. Oh. You could call it Opera Sean. <laughs> <laughs> Operation. Oh, <laughs> I he was it. a surgeon. <laughs> so they called him Operation, and it was like an opera, and it was funny, man. Oh, it was one of them operas, a no. funny opera. Well, it was kind of grim, <laughs> but funny to me. <laughs> Mrs. didn't like it when he was like, la 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 la. That's not the right song. <laughs> He was all like singing about like chopping your cavities and stuff. Chopping your cavities. <laughs> well, yeah, he wasn't a dentist. He was a surgeon. <laughs> Didn't know what he was doing. <laughs> They're like, can you fix my teeth? He's like, no. Wow, this is, this is like a dark comedy of a surgeon who's pretending to be a dentist. <laughs> How'd I get in this building? You take the stairs to the left. No, like... I warped through this building through weird means. Wait, you can't cut it up. No, this... I'm stuck. Wait, huh? What was that? Did you see that? Wait, go to the left. Oh, I thought that was me. <laughs> well, I guess just drag me. Oh, out. okay. See you later. You yeah, he's he, he like sings. He's like, uh, give me an opera song and I'll make it into a surgeon. If I knew opera songs. How about Phantom? Phantom of the opera. Yeah, I'm trying to think. Ugh, I can't think of any of the phantoms. <laughs> a phantom of the opera is crap. <laughs> <laughs> Shots fired! <laughs> and grenades thrown too! I think people would take offense to that. I just meant the fact that I took a grenade, that's all. <laughs> the opera is crap.
<laughs> wow. Inside your mind. But not somebody else's. <laughs> Oh, these ming yeah. holes. So he's like, uh, 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 uh. he's like all singing while like chopping somebody. He's like, oh, I have kidney failure. Well, let me fix you up. Dang it. Surgery, surgery often when you say, help me. Oh, dang. I amputate ever so softly when you will pay me. Then you say you need a ring-a-ding, so I chop off your ring. <laughs> and then you will not notice all my surgery. He's good, he patches it up afterwards. Hey. Yeah. Sean the seen, Surgeon. I should, I should have seen that opera. <laughs> it was a good one! I saw it with my wife, I was laughing the whole time, she was crying. It was an interesting debacle. You know? Yeah. yeah. They've got other hits like... They? Uh, that song's got other hits like... Uh, yeah, Cut Lightning. Cut Lightning? <laughs> yeah, he, he would do surgery so fast they'd say, you know, he's like cutting like lightning. <laughs> go cut lightning, oh, 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 oh. Cut lightning, go cut lightning. I get your kidneys out and the hand and I stuff that hole. Cut lightning, go cut lightning. <laughs> I've got a king for surgery. Cut lightning. That you know, it's kind of like a mixture of like traditional opera and uh, <laughs> and modern music. Ah, I see. It's a comedy for me and a tragedy for my wife. <laughs> you didn't want to listen to it no more, so, and I said whatever. So why'd you take it to it? Uh, you know, sometimes you think nothing of the <clears throat> other than your wife. You think of nothing other than your wife. And sometimes you, you gotta think for yourself. Huh. You know, I, I didn't ask her if she wanted to see it. I'm gonna sacrifice my hiney. It, it was for nothing. I sacrificed everything. I can't tell whose nothing. bullets are yours <laughs> and whose are theirs. Just know that they are dead and I am not. Whoa, where'd that rock come from? <laughs> How are we supposed to get these guys when they're like over there? Like Dang that. It. Look at that. Beautiful. And Beautiful. I was dead. I killed them from the day. Where am I? Woo. Woo. Did you see that? Yeah. It was beautiful. I love a man who could wield a gun oh, and a grenade. You. I'm glad to know that you love me. Nah, yeah, not in the weird way. What do you mean weird? You know, like weird. Like we're moving on from professional relationships and crap. That's not weird. Wait, who's that guy following you? <laughs> That's beautiful. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure my wife wouldn't approve. You should find another wife. <laughs> <laughs> I keep dying. No! <laughs> wow, man! I was trying to end him. You should find another wife. Did you really just tell me that? Why not? I'm on number six as it is. No, you said you was divorced. <laughs> You said you were oh, single yeah. I kind of forget <laughs> when I go between that oh. phase where I think I need a wife and the phase where I'm like, I'm a, I'm a single man out on my own like a free eagle in the sun. Like a freakle? <laughs> <laughs> what about your son? Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. 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 I shoved that thing up my butt and fired. I did not appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, that was graphic. Woo! There, see, now that time I sacrificed everything and it was worth it. It was worth it. We ain't gonna make it. I'm just gonna say that now. Are you on fire? <laughs> that was incredible. <laughs> <laughs> you just gotta believe. You just gotta take it slow. If you believe you can do it, you can do it. And if you didn't do it, then you didn't believe it. You didn't believe it. <laughs> what about you? I wasn't even thinking about it. I was busy trying to do my speech. You're busy dying. Uh, <laughs> uh, don't step on the box of blood. I mean death. <laughs> Same thing. We don't need to kill them. We can ignore them. Never mind. I'll come by. Yeah. I was going down for the Molotovs. Molly Tovs. Dude, did I ever tell you the story? Which one? About when I got a, the last time I ever got a haircut. Last time I ever paid for a haircut. <laughs> <laughs> last time I had somebody else cut my hair. Oh no. Other than so. me, it's cheaper. 
and I get what I want. That that's true. I get what I pay for. And that's true too. <laughs> I went there and they were like, "Hello, you're in here for a haircut. Do you, would you like your haircut?" <laughs> I was like, "Surprise, no." Now I'm here for a cheeseburger. Yeah. And they started scooping the hair off the ground. Just kidding. Oh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> <laughs> then they're like, oh, okay. And then I was like, this is what I want my hair to look like. They're like, no. No. You don't want your hair to look like that. And I was like, yeah, yeah, I, yeah I do. No. <laughs> That's stupid. <laughs> what the crap? They're like, you look like a little boy if you cut it like that. I was like, what? Maybe in your country. Or, or at least, like, your generation. There's so <laughs> many, like, variables. What? They're like, don't cut around your ear. You look like a little boy. The irony is, if you don't cut around your ear, you, you look more like a, you know, angsty teenager. <laughs> so anyway, she's like, no, don't cut the hair around your ear. And I was like, but I like hearing. Mm. So I don't know about you, but when I have hair over my ear, I haven't had it like that for years. But when I did, it was harder to hear. Mm, <laughs> the that hair makes sense. was literally covering my ears. I mean, she's like, "No, you don't want that." And I'm like, "Yeah, I do." And she's like, "Okay." She starts doing her thing, wets my hair, does all that good stuff. Yeah. Don't, don't land on the glass, you'll die. And then starts yanking on my hair. Like I, I was like, I came for a haircut, not you to pull my hair out of my skull. <laughs> Holy crap! Just pull on my hair, like. And I'm like, what? What are you doing? She's like, Whoa. And I say, well, shoot. It's I don't like, know. I told you you didn't want that haircut. <laughs> I will prove it to you. So I was like, what the flip, lady? And then after doing that, she started chopping my heads, like flying left, right, and forward and backwards. Gosh, you really ticked her off. <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> I guess I'm the bad guy in this story. <laughs> and then she's like, there, what do you think? I'm like, doesn't matter what I think, clearly. <laughs> what do you think? But, yeah. I think I even tipped her. You did? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, that's what happens. That was before I I, I had awoken. <clears throat> awoken? Yeah. I mean, I'm sure the kids and the trendy people would say, before I was woke. Mm. I don't, I don't like slang that much. Oh, you want to spar to me? I spar to you. You know? <laughs> yeah, I think so. Do you like it when somebody says they're woke? Mm, I really haven't heard it that often, to be honest. The worst was, like, I heard somebody say it, and they were much older. Ooh. You know, like, older I people feel like, using slang? I feel like I'm already too old to say something, but this guy was, like, 50. So he's not old but he's older you know what i mean yeah and then he was like you know i believe some of these things but at the same time i'm gonna be woke and believe these other things too and i was like mm, mm. no just <laughs> no yeah if they're doing it to try and fit in then that's kind of funny and cute or whatever but if they're doing it seriously that's kind of queen and my main thing too is it's like i only use slang ironically <laughs> I, I never true. do anything serious. Well, that is all the time we have for today. What? It is. I'm woke. <laughs> I'm shook. I'm savage lit, fam. Oh my gosh. So you'll have to join us next time for the continuation up this. This is the Bellicios or Bonuccios or whoever. The Bluecheesios. Yeah, the, the our people who's killing us now is building, so... Who knows what lays at the top, but we're going to find out. Join us then. Thank you so much for watching, liking, commenting, and subscribing. All the stuff you do to help us talk about the opera. I'm not sure if I've ever been to one, but I've seen pieces of them. They're pretty cool. Go! Oh. Join us next time. Where we can make it to the top of the tower. Now with only half health. Thank you. Hey, you did that at the beginning of this episode. Uh, Let it be known. <laughs> <laughs> I did. <laughs> Join us then. Moral of the story is don't drag somebody out to something that they won't enjoy. If you know they won't enjoy it, find somebody who will and go with them or just go by yourself. Watch this. yourself a new butt because mine broke out uh, and they do that